What's up everybody? In today's MLB The Show 21 video, we're going to go over what you should be doing to make max amount of stubs for the third inning program. But if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video and hit that red subscribe button. Turn your notifications on so you can always be alerted when the best glitches, exploits, and stub methods go live. Let's get into today's bank. If you're looking for great gaming services, Head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. So the first thing you should be doing is finishing up your team affinity before you do anything else in the third inning program. That's going to get you team affinity packs, free show packs, balling is a habit packs, all that type of good stuff. Once you get all these either 100% or close to it. You're going to open up them packs and you are not going to sell them right away. Also, you can exchange a lot of them low cards. This is the best time to do it and the market is inflated. Now, it's certain cards that you do not want to get rid of. It's certain cards, I'm going to give you a list of that at the end of the video that you should be watching out for. So if you have duplicates of certain cards, you want to keep them on your team because they have a very good chance at going diamond. So if you have four or five of a certain card like this one right here, so instead of you selling him for 780 stubs, he will turn into a 15, 1600 card. And there's nothing that you have to do. You have him in your binder. So that's going to be a 600 stub profit. You're going to be getting a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, four different times, 4,000 stubs off this one card. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us have duplicates if we haven't sold any cards. Now, another thing that you want to do, you want to do your exchanges, then you want to come to collections. You want to knock out all these small collections. Uniforms, like the throwback, is going to give you stubs. You're going to get a show pack and 1,500 stubs if you don't sell them and you collect them. Just collect 15 of them. You're going to get 5,000 stubs just for turning in 30 bats. Okay, and it's stuff that we don't really need. You're going to get another 2,500 stubs and 1,500 stubs just for turning in 15 or 30 of these. I mean, why wouldn't you not take advantage of easy ways to get the stubs that the game is giving you? Top tier cards that you should be watching out for that's been having a great May, month of May, is Jonathan Scoop from the Detroit Lions, Nick Castellanos from the Cincinnati Reds, Chris Bryant, due for a big upgrade. Then you got Gorio Jr. from Toronto, and then you also have Josh Riddick, you have Anthony Santander, you have Ty France, you have Whit Merrifield. These are cards that you should be always keeping an eye on on the market. Another way is the ball player glitch. So all you want to do is you want to load up an archetype, finish that one all the way to 100, and then go ahead and do the same thing, rinse and repeat. So if we go to my loadout, right now I'm working on the dart. So I'm 72 out of 100 for the dart, and at the end, I'm going to get 8,000 extra XP plus the diamond version. And in between, you're getting stubs, you're getting diamonds, and if you're using the method that I'm going to post at the top right now, you will have an easy way to be able to get this done super fast. It takes about an hour for each one of the archetypes. And one of the bosses is going for about 280 to 350 stubs right now. So the faster you get it done, the faster you can get the max amount of stubs. If y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. It's free. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you. We've got over 400 subscribers in the past 20 days. Let's keep this ball rolling. 10K is up next. Keep rocking with me and I got y'all.